there's a problem for multiculturalism, and that's that I, I think it would really need a new conception of the state. And if uh, multiculturalists have done the political philosophy in the state, I would like people to give me links and stuff. I'd very much like to watch it or read it. The problem is, is that our society in the West and the world in general has been dominated by the concept of the nation state for the past several hundred years. And they've been dominated by nation states. I'll give uh, a very short and then a more precise definition of a nation state. And the idea of a nation state is that every nation should be represented by a state. A nation is an ethnic group that dominates a geographic area and a state is a monopoly on the use of force in a geographic area. So um, Kurds would be an example and the Basque of an example of a nation that doesn't have a state. Both groups are ethnic groups that dominate a geographic area but they don't have a state and they've been trying to get a state for a long time. So yeah, in the, so the the problem with the nation state is that it sort of assumes that it's governing over a single ethnicity or or at the very least it's governing over a geographic area that's dominated by one group not an area that is some sort of amalgamation of several ethnic groups that dominate an area so I think what multiculturalists are going to have to do if they're going to uh, continue on with their uh, their way their worldview is that they're going to have to sort of create a new concept of the state that evolves past the nation state they would have to create some sort of idea of the state that doesn't involve representing a nation so they kind of have to divorce the idea of nation from the state so to the point where we, we, we don't ever talk about the nation when we talk about politics because there would no longer be a nation that dominates the state there would be several nations or perhaps we can get to a situation in which each individual person is so different and culturally unique that uh, we can't say what group dominates in geographic areas anymore because things are just so different and at that point, I think we'd be forced by necessity to go beyond nation state because there's no clearly defined nation that the state is representing. And it's becoming more and more a case like that in the United States, too, and in Europe. That it's not clear which ethnic group dominates on the area that the, a state is uh, you know, governing over. Also, another important thing about nation states is that they tend to be representative you know democracies and stuff which makes sense because the idea of a state is that they represent an ethnic group and I, I use the by the way I use the term ethnic group rather than race because race is just a a word that I think we should try to get past and that ethnic group is a lot clearer it, it doesn't have a, a lot of bad connotations and it has like very little to do with biology and everything to do with culture it's a way cleaner term that doesn't have a lot of the a lot of the baggage and all the unnecessary things with race plus culturally speaking and ethnically I think we can consider like French and Polish differently just from cultural differences and it's also a matter of language too nations tend to have the same language but yeah there's not much more I can say Multiculturalists we need a new. They need to create a cosmopolitan state theory. Or uh, if you don't know, cosmopolitan is the idea of a whole bunch of ethnic groups just getting along and living together, all peaceful like. So yeah, and I, and I think this might be good if multiculturalists can release some more political philosophy and how a state should run, with the uh, devoid of the concept of nation. Because it may also, by extension, be a good argument against tribalism. And that's my point.